Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Red Storm Baltic Approaches by GMT Games. It's the, it's an expansion for GMT's Red Storm, which I have right here on the shelf. Uh, and this adds uh, some additional ships, some maps, ships. This adds, a, well, it may have some ships, actually. It may have some target ships. It does actually have some target ships, but it adds actually additional Warcraft and factions, uh, as well as additional maps and missions for the Red Storm game. Obviously, the now out of print Red Storm is required to play this, but hopefully that will come to GMT's P500 system soon and you'll be able to get a copy. But for now, let's just crack this open and see what you exactly get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Alright, so now we're going to dig into the box here of Red Storm Baltic Approaches. There we go. Alright, so again, this is an expansion to GMT's Red Storm, as you see right there. But you get the rules of play for Baltic Approaches. It is a small 16 page manual, GMT uh, matte finish paper color and it looks like some of the rules extend the previous rules so it says Baltic approaches is an expansion for Red Storm that allows players to simulate air warfare over the Western Baltic during the mid 87 conflict depicted in Red Storm in addition to close air support deep strikes air defense missions players can also simulate anti-ship ship strikes support for amphibious assaults airborne landings and air assault operations all of which would be critical in a maritime area of operations baltic approaches also introduces ships to the game system so i got that right earlier both as targets and as combatants but then i'm noticing as you go on this is 1.0 this is 2.0 and then it makes a quick jump here to 14 15 16 17 i guess where they dovetail into the uh, Red Storm rules themselves. So, and it does have a rules index, and um, trying to see if it references the previous rule set in some recognizable fashion. It is not. So apparently, this is just an index for the Baltic approaches rules. All right. So it looks like the rules are the full. 15 pages of that. So then we have an appendices book, which is going to be a little thicker. It is 20 pages. And it's got the orders of battle, uh, airfields, ground unit locations, example of play, designer notes, and a bibliography. So we have the NATO order of battle, the WP order of battle. All the airfields that are available, who owns them, or controls them, I should say, the ground unit locations, and an example of play. And designer notes. And the bio bibliography. So if you want to check out some of these books on Amazon or your local library. Okay, so now we've got the scenario book. Now here we got a lot of scenarios. There are, they're labeled BA for Baltic Approaches. This book is 48 pages. And there are 25 uh, individual scenarios and it looks like a couple of campaigns possibly. BAC1 and BAC2. And then uh, four more solo scenarios. So you can play this solo. There is a solo kind of set of rules in the base game. And going by the uh, numbering here, that one included four scenarios, and this includes four more. So um, the solo rules, I didn't see any specifically in this rule book, so they're probably just the, using the same guidelines in the, the original, but we will check this here. So, scenario E, the hunt for K-79, scenario conditions, got the orders of battle, scenario special rules, victory conditions, so I assume it uses the same scenario, the solo strategy presented in the base game. 
So these are all nice with uh, with pictures and the setups and the special rules and the victory conditions. So a lot of goodness here if you're into the uh, the uh, hypothetical 1987, um, I should say quasi hypothetical. I mean, obviously it didn't happen, but it could have. It's ripped from yesterday's headlines. And then we've got our counter sheets. Counter sheet appears to be a single sheet of counters. So we got uh, there's goose. You got goose as your one of your pilots. Uh, and Maverick and Iceman and Viper. Oh look at that. There's a movie out with those characters. I can't remember. Hmm, what could that have been? Anyway, uh, you got all your forces here, your planes, and then you do have your uh, where were they? I know they're here somewhere. Your ship counters, task force, task force counters. And these can apparently by the rules be combatants as well. So pretty cool. I got some SAMs and then markers. So these are the additional counters that you need. This copy is pretty well registered. These are, uh, you will need to round these probably or cut them from the sprue a little bit to help them cleanly punch since they're the, you know, the normal war game kind of counters. And then we've got a pad of naval log sheets. And this is for the different naval task force. We've got the task force number here, damage point stats, so on and so forth. You get a pad of those, probably about 20, 25 maybe. So these should be available online for you to download and print as you wish. And then we've got some reference cards. So dig through those here. And we have a USSR aircraft data chart. It is, well, it's a multi nation data chart. We got USSR, we have Poland, and then we have the WP da Naval data chart. So this is a, you know, double width, folded, glossy, semi-glossy card stock. And we've got a NATO aircraft data chart, and but there's more. Yes, the Swedish aircraft NATO data chart, along with the NATO naval data chart. So one for one side, one for the other, but even more, the US Navy, US Marine Corps aircraft data chart. And we've got, oh, well, that's actually one data chart. And on the inside, ooh, look at this pretty. Got a different uh, spotting guide for all the different aircraft and history and descriptions of the aircraft. All right. And then player aid card number six. I assume there's five in the other game. And it's a double, uh, you know, double width. Uh, tabloid style. And it's got all your tables. There's only one of these, so I guess you have to share this if you're playing with another player. It's got an updated air detection table, naval detection table, so on and so forth. Air to surface attack table, SAM data table, bailouts, you know, all your charts that you're going to need for playing the game. Scenario random events, those are always cool for games. Naval anti aircraft damage table. Okay, and then got a couple of map sheets here. We'll take a look at those shortly. Get a little, little tiny bag of bags. So they're little bags in a bag. And then we have two 10 sided die, a red and a blue, of course. Thematic in color. Let's see who wins this battle. Oop. Well, it's going to be hard pressed for. Uh, Red to win. Oh, they tied. All right, taunt. Okay, so there's that. And then we are going to open up and take a look at those maps right here. Okay, this is the second map for uh, uh, Baltic Approaches, Red Storm Baltic Approaches. Uh, it's two maps, but they go together to make one big map. Now, assuming you can play on uh, different scenarios will be different 
you know, one will only take place on this map and one may take place on the other map. But since the uh, left side of the map does include the turn track and everything, it's probably going to be you have to set up both maps. So this is definitely a table table occupying game. I need a big table for this one. So let's see. So a lot of different countries here and got our dividing lines. New Zealand or Zealand and Sweden. So it's a 22 by 34 map and you put both of them together and you end up with a 44 by 34 uh, map. So this is the right side. So there's the left side again as we showed you. There's the turn track, the face track, the detection track, a map key, and then the left side of the map. West Germany down here, Sweden, Denmark, So I have enough room to set up for one at a time for video and have to clear the whole table for playing. But that's a quick look at what the maps are going to hold for you. And now let's do a quick recap of everything that's in the box. All right, so if you pick up a copy of Red Storm Baltic Approaches from GMT Games, you're going to get the two 10-sided dice, the bag of bags, those two uh, full color maps that we took a look at. You're gonna get a player aid card. You're gonna get three different uh, aircraft and naval uh, reference sheets, a pad of naval log sheets, one set of counters, one sheet of counters for the new ships. I mean, new ships, obviously, and new aircraft, which we'll add to the others. The scenario book with 25 scenarios. Uh, we didn't check that. Uh, let me check that real quick. That 36. Sorry, I did not cover that before. Um, oh, 36. Let's try using our numbers. Um, BAC 1 and BAC 2. It doesn't say that they're a campaign, so I'm not sure exactly why they're numbered differently. But you got the BA 1 through 25, and then 2 BAC 1 and BAC 2, and the four solo scenarios. An appendices book with uh, orders of battle and examples of play and designers notes and more and then a very very small um, 16 page rule book and that's everything that comes inside red storm baltic approaches from gmt games an expansion to the red storm game system uh, thank you so much for watching god bless you bye bye